ਸਤਿ ਸ੍ਰੀ ਅਕਾਲ ਐਂਡ ਵੈਲਕਮ ਟੂ ਸੀਜੇ ਸਿੱਧੂ ਸ਼ੋ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਅ ਸਪੈਸ਼ਲ ਐਡੀਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਬੀਸੀ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ 2020 and uh, today i am going to introduce you with a very special guest a uh, newly elected green party leader sonia forsno uh, as you know sonia was a mla from kauchin valley in 2017 election and uh, she is running again and she is a party leader and we have a lot of questions for a british columbia as a green party so welcome on cj sidhu show sonia I'm so happy to be here. Thanks so much for having me on. You very welcome. Uh let's start with a little bit of the background uh, Sonia that uh, you know when Mr. Horgan forced the election and you guys have a agreement and there was no any compelling reason to pull the plug and call a election. What do you take on that? Yeah, in fact, I had met with him 3 days earlier and I had given him a letter in which we clearly indicated that Adam and I in the Green Caucus would absolutely continue to work with his government and ensure that we could be delivering what people need right now because we have so many crises. People are worried about their health, they're worried about their job, they're worried about being able to pay rent. And we should be in the legislature right now working on that. And when we're seeing the news right now that support programs, grant programs for small businesses aren't rolling out because of this election, so real disappointment because we did not have to be here so sonia da kehna hai ki inna ne tin din pehla election call karan to pehla inna ne kya si election na call karo kyunki jehdiyan families hai they are struggling there is a issues with people's health because of covid 19 jobs rents small business are hurting so uh, she said that it's not a good time to to call a collection election so what do you think mr horgan because they were doing really well in the polls is it is a absolute opportunity to call election yeah i i really do think that this was about uh him deciding that it was more important to put his party uh first and and wanting to get all the power and have a majority government and that's really you know it goes against what we've seen in bc why we did so well in covid-19 is because we worked together across all the party lines all three parties were really committed to making sure that people were taken care of through covid-19 we approved 5 billion dollars of extra spending in one day on march 23 we came together for our summer session we passed the budget unanimously and that's because the the mla has recognized that in a time like this we have to really put people first and now we're in this election and we aren't able to serve the way we could be if we were still in the legislature so sonia da kehna ki sada jehdi government hai was functioning very well tinne jehdiyan partiyan they were working very well in covid 19 with each other passed the budget everything was going well so so basically is a perfect example of opportunist calling yeah. election because he was polling high and people are struggling in covid 19 and with the campaign you can see that uh, it's a so difficult people are like to see people face to face they want to see the candidates face to face and uh, and it's a totally different ball game now yeah that, that, that's, that's absolutely, absolutely right, right. And, and and in, in fact, fact you know they, they released the NDP released, released their, their platform, platform commitments, commitments today and a lot, a lot of them were in the letter, letter that, that we wrote, wrote to them so, so you, you know, know there, there was nothing there was, there was no reason, reason to be in this election, election because we had already indicated, indicated that we were supporting this work, work. in fact those are our ideas um and, and so, so it, it, it actually makes, makes me quite sad, sad that uh, the people are struggling so much right, right now and for, for example you know they, they can't get the help that they would from our constituency offices from the government, government and then the, 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 the brand, brand money is going forward, forward. It's, it's, it's a real problem so sonia da kehna ki covid 19 de vich we were working very well and jinne vi eh program jehde announce kar rahe we agreed on that and now he's rolling out as as his uh, as his campaign platform and mm-hmm. it's just it's unimaginable the promises he's making and especially today giving a every family a thousand dollar do you consider that's a vote buying Yeah, yeah I, I, I think you're making a really good point. And if that was money that was available because of the COVID recovery, that should have been given to families in the summertime that, so that they could be getting ready. And it, you know, this is an example 
It's government's job to ensure that everybody in this province has the services and the infrastructure to be able to do well to thrive. It's not a party's job in an election campaign to go out and make promises that should be government's work to do. That's why we're focusing on uh, our platform is about health and well-being. How do we ensure that everybody in BC has what they need to be well, to be healthy, to be financially secure? We're focusing on helping renters all over the province. We're focusing on ensuring that there's early childhood education. We're focusing on mental health support. And these are, these are a vision for a province that people are doing well in the province instead of these kind of stunts that our other parties do where they go into one riding and they make a promise for that riding. As a government, we have to serve everybody in BC. So, Sonia, the can I election the platform Jiri Ajido to see government run Kardia? So, to see a Hedge is Hare promises Karea, Uda a time Nisi, a time Siga to take care of the people. So, in other is the Nal Kanayaki Jira in another platform, look on the jobs, mental health issues. So, Sonia, let's go back to uh, your announcement and your party platform today, starting with a $500 for stay at home parents. And what, what are the rest of the policy you're rolling out for this election? Yeah, so that, that's one piece we announced today, but also early childhood education for every child in BC, free, uh, 25 hours a week for three-year-olds and four-year-olds as part of our public education system. We also today talked about government working with uh, the in employers, industry, labor, uh, and stakeholders to look at how we can have more work-life balance looking at incentives to, to move us to four-day work week, which has been shown in many cases to increase productivity and output, but also increase health and mental health, happiness of employees, fewer sick days. We've looked at support for renters, we've looked at mental health action, uh, and our full platform will be coming out uh, early next week. We're releasing a piece every day. But the fundamental thing is that we're looking at how do we have a province with the highest level of health and well-being of the people and of the environment. And that's, that's the difference about the Greens is we recognize that things are connected. We recognize that everything has to be connected that way. So we need a healthy environment and we need healthy people and we need a healthy economy that keeps sustainable jobs in our communities so that our kids can grow up and have real opportunities to do well. So, Sonia, the Kanaki in another platform, $500 uh, for stay at home parents, is to allow up early childhood, like uh, at least 25 hours for three to four year olds, and uh, is to allow mental health. So, in other key, a key people uh, health, their well being, and, uh, and the community, uh, British Columbia, so everybody can be benefited by that. So, um, Sonia is, uh, so that's part of your platform. But when I look at that, uh, you know, all the party platforms and there is a millions and billions of dollars are announced. Mm -hmm. I'm moving forward in this very difficult time of COVID-19. Mm -hmm. How the different parties thinking about to balance the books one day? Because the your children and my children and next generation have to pay for that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's a really important, important question, question because, because, of course, we're, we're, we're having economic, economic problems, problems everywhere, everywhere in the world right now. now. And, and so, so that's, that's why we have, have to make investments, investments now that are evidence-based, that, that the research, research shows that those investments, investments will pay off, will pay back. back. It can't just be short-term decision-making. So, so economists are telling us the most important thing we can invest in is early childhood education. education. That, that gets women back to work, work that ensures that children have the best start on their education. We know how important education is generally public education, post-secondary. We have to be a province that recognizes that our best resource are the people of BC. And so how do we create the conditions so that the people can meet their fullest potential? And when people are worried about being able to pay their rent, when they can't afford healthy food, when they're worried about covering their bills, they're not at their fullest potential. So we have to deal with that affordability piece, that cost of living piece. And we have to recognize that the government's job is to create those conditions where people and businesses can really thrive. 
ਸੋ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀਆਂ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਪਲੈਟਫਾਰਮ ਹੈ ਇੰਨੀਆਂ ਚੀਜ਼ਾਂ ਬਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਲੀਅਨਸ ਡਾਲਰ ਸੇ ਅਨਾਉਂਸ ਕਰ ਰਹੇ ਪੈਸੇ ਕਿੱਥੋਂ ਆਉਣੇ ਹੈ ਜਦੋਂ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਨੈਕਸਟ ਜਨਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਹੈ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਬੀ ਦਾ ਬਰਡਨ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਆਲ ਦਾ ਟੈਕਸ ਸੋ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਦਾ ਕਹਿਣਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਇਹ ਜਿਹੜੀਆਂ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਮੈਂਟਸ ਹੈ ਇਹ ਵੈਰੀ ਗੁੱਡ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਮੈਂਟ ਹੋਣੀਆਂ ਚਾਹੀਦੀਆਂ ਤਾਂ ਕਿ ਇਹਦਾ ਪੇਬੈਕ ਹੋਣਾ ਚਾਹੀਦਾ ਹੈ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਜੇ ਅਰਲੀ ਚਾਈਲਡਹੂਡ ਐਜੂਕੇਸ਼ਨ ਚ ਪੈਸੇ ਲਾਏ ਹੈ ਸੋ ਉਹ ਐਜੂਕੇਟਡ ਹੋ ਕੇ ਦੇ ਵਿਲ ਗੈਟ ਇਨਟੂ ਗੁੱਡ ਜੌਬਸ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਟਸ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਗੈਟ ਰਿਟਰਨ ਔਨ ਯੂਅਰ ਇਨਵੈਸਟਮੈਂਟ ਸੋ ਸੋ ਫਾਰ ਸੋਨੀਆ देयर इज 87 ਸੀਟਸ ਇਨ ਬ੍ਰਿਟਿਸ਼ ਕੋਲੰਬੀਆ ਹਾਊ ਮੈਨੀ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ ਯੂ ਫਾਈਨਲਾਈਜ਼ਡ We got 74 and we started on the on the day that the election was called with zero. I had just been leader for one week. Uh, we were uh, we just came out of a nine month leadership race. So it is quite incredible that the 74 amazing people have stepped up and then our staff was able to get there. all of that work and, and the vetting done. And we have incredible candidates. We have many PhD scientists, engineers, lawyers, uh, teachers, advocates, young people, climate activists, economists, drug use policy research. It, it, it's an extraordinary group of candidates who have stepped up. And it's because these people are, are excited about the BC Green Party right now and excited to be part of the solutions that we want to put forward for BC. I, we are a more diverse slate than we did in 2017. We have more women running. Uh, we have more work to do on that. We need more diversity. But I'm really proud of what we've been able to achieve in, in just short 11 days. So, sorry, I'm going to say that 87 to 74 seats are already already declared. So, they have PhD, engineers, economists, lawyers, like a wild diversity of candidates are already there. ਫੀਲਡ ਕੀਤੇ ਹੈ ਐਂਡ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਦੈਟਸ ਗੁੱਡ ਟੂ ਨੋ ਦੈਟ ਵੈਰੀ ਕੁਆਲੀਫਾਈਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਯੂ ਏਬਲ ਟੂ ਫੀਲ ਦੈਟ ਬਟ ਆਈ ਹਰਡ ਦੈਟ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਯੰਗ देयर ਯੂਥ देयर ਇਜ਼ ਨੋ ਮਨੀ ਈਦਰ देयर ਓਨ ਮਨੀ ਔਰ ਦੇ ਹੈਵ ਨੋ ਟਾਈਮ ਟੂ ਰੇਜ ਅ ਮਨੀ ਸੋ ਹਾਊ ਐਂਡ ਇਨਕਲੂਡਿੰਗ ਯੂਰ ਰਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਐਂਡ ਯੂ ਯੂ ਆਰ ਅ ਪਾਰਟੀ ਲੀਡਰ ਯੂ ਮਾਈਟ ਹੈਵ ਲਿਟਲ ਬਿਟ ਮੋਰ ਐਕਸੈਸ ਥੈਨ ਏਵਰੀਬਡੀ ਐਲਸ ਹਾਊ ਯੂ ਰਨ ਦਾ ਕੈਂਪੇਨ ਵਿਦਾਊਟ ਨਾਟ ਹੈਵਿੰਗ ਅ ਮਨੀ ਫੋਰ ਸਮ ਆਫ ਥੀਸ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟਸ Yeah. yeah, and and, and, and it's very challenging, and, 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 and this is one of the reasons why it was very cynical of the NDP to do this, is that they actually wanted to, to reduce democracy in the BC. It's been very, very good to have a third party in the BC legislature. We have not had any scandals, we have not had any uh, kind of things that you see when you have majority governments. We've had a lot of cooperation and collaboration. Um, but I will say this, we have had an extraordinary amount of donations come in, of volunteers come forward, more than we ever imagined. And so we are getting incredible support from all over the province. People are very excited about what we have to offer about a different kind of politics. And uh, I know it's hard on candidates to get moving, but I mean, they are doing an amazing job with limited resources, which is the world that we're in right now. We all have to learn to do uh, even more Um, and, and for our point of view, we really have to create those conditions where people can be their best. ਸੋ ਸੋਨੀਆ ਨੂੰ ਮੈਂ ਪੁੱਛਿਆ ਸੀ ਕਿ ਕਈ ਜਿਹੜੇ ਕੈਂਡੀਡੇਟ ਆ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਕੋਲ ਵੀ ਪੈਸੇ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂਗੇ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਿਵੇਂ ਰਨ ਕਰਨਗੇ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਕਈ ਤਾਂ ਨਵੇਂ ਹੈਗੇ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਦਾ ਆਪ ਦੇ ਕੋਲ ਹੀ ਕੋਈ ਹੈ ਨਹੀਂਗੇ ਐਕਸਪੈਂਸਿਸ ਸੋ ਕਹਿੰਦੇ ਆ ਵਰ ਗੈਟਿੰਗ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਗੁੱਡ ਟ੍ਰੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਐਂਡ ਪੀਪਲ ਡੋਨੇਸ਼ਨਸ ਦੇ ਰਹੇ ਆ ਪਰ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਹਿ ਵੀ ਵੈਰੀ ਸਿਨੀਕਲ ਸੀਗਾ ਜਦੋਂ ਵੀ ਵਰ ਵਰਕਿੰਗ ਟੁਗੇਦਰ ਵਿਦ ਦਾ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ देयर ਵਾਸ ਨੋ ਰੀਜ਼ਨ ਥੈਮ ਟੂ ਕਾਲ ਇਲੈਕਸ਼ਨ ਕਿ ਕੋਈ ਸਕੈਂਡਲ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਕੋਈ ਪ੍ਰੋਬਲਮ ਨਹੀਂ ਸੀ ਦ ਗਵਰਨਮੈਂਟ ਵਾਸ ਰਨਿੰਗ ਸਮੂਥਲੀ ਯੂਅਰ ਵੈਰੀ ਰਾਈਟ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਦੈਟ ਸੋਨੀਆ and then he pulled the plug and uh, also i i just missed on your one platform that a four day uh, week so um having a four day week you're right that you said that people will be more productive they will be more relaxed spending three days at home and then going back but did you talk to the small businesses how they will be impacted with this four day week and of course it's important that we work with businesses that this is not something that government would ever mandate but this is something that government could support and incentivize and in fact i've had small businesses in cowichan reach out to me in my body and say that they had already moved to a four day work week uh, to work with their employees so that their employees could have a better work life balance and that they found that not only
less cost if we have healthier, happier people, that's less cost on society. If we're spending more time with family and contributing to our communities, that's a benefit to our society. And I think we just have to ask that question of what's the best way we could be? How do we have the happiest, healthiest uh, citizens in British Columbia? And what are ways that we know we can see the evidence and the research that shows us uh, that these solutions actually make a really positive difference? So, man, Sonia and Puchachi, you did a four day in a week the announcement Giti. Did you consult the uh, businesses in the Kanaki? Yeah, it's a government is the platform, Brona, yeah, talk to the businesses. Oh, can they be the Jira Sarnabata impact? Yeah, Jiri Jiri population. Hai. They want a healthy and happier population, more productive. And, uh, you know, this, this issue came back and forth about it. And uh, so let's move on to. Uh, you were newly elected and then they called the snap election and you were just preparing yourself. How you consider your re leadership is uh, different than Mr. Andrew Weaver and, and the previous leaders? How the Green Party in British Columbia will be different? Are you left to center? Are you going more to left or to right? Where are you? So I studied history and I, I look at uh, how we look at politics and we're still using these ideas that came out of the 19th century. I think what's really important about the BC Greens is that we look at evidence and we look at solutions and we look at where we want to get to. And I keep coming back to this because it's so important to me that if we can have people who are healthy, if we have well-being, if we have sustainability, if we have a sense of safety and security in our communities and our neighborhoods, if our families are doing well, uh, those are the outcomes that we want to get to. So what does, this, what does the evidence tell us about how to get there? Well, we can look to other countries. New Zealand has a health and well-being budget. They are making strides in this direction. They're also moving towards uh, no fossil fuels by 2030. So we can see that there are ways to make these solutions happen. And then we measure how well we're doing as a government by saying, how, how healthy are our people? How, how happy are people? Are we having more sustainability? Are our small businesses doing well? Do our communities feel safer and healthier? Do people have housing? Are they meeting the cost of living? And so if we're measuring that, if we're measuring how well our society and economy works for people, then we can actually make strides in ensuring that our decisions are ones that, that put people first. So, Sonia, the Kanagi, um, JD, evidence based, solution based, JD, solution. Hai. Oh, in a lake on a cook, mera question see with the party in Kidder Lake Jaug and how is it different than and do weaver. But another main haga be healthier population, happy population, Jira haga, Oste in a jada in another focus, and that's why she won four day uh, a week for four day working week. And uh, you know, Sonia, it's very interesting that uh, you know, a lot of countries have that happy healthy indexes and they measure mm -hmm. that people's mm -hmm. success based on their happiness, not on how much wealth they have. Yeah, and it's something that was in our 27B platform, the BC Greens, and it's something that we pushed the NDP to bring in, genuine progress indicators, and they've been reluctant to do so. But I think it's really important that we measure the economy on more than just how much output there is, but we measure the economy on how well it is serving the people and the, 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 the place of British Columbia. So if we're making decisions like um, uh, giving billions of dollars to the fossil fuel and the fracking industry, that's economic activity. But I would say that that's not economic activity that is going to serve the health and well-being of the people of BC. But if we measured, if we were to say, what would do better? Well, investing in, in, clean, uh, in clean energy, investing in ensuring that small businesses are doing well, investing in the high tech sector, that money would have actually done better for every community in BC. And so this, this is how you start making decisions that are better. And, and it's really important that people understand that the other two parties have been willing to increase the amount of taxpayer money that they're giving to the fracking and the LNG industry. And I think that is absolutely the wrong direction for our province to be going right now. So 
that's that's very interesting i couple of platform issues so sonia da kehna hai ki jehde clean energy hai ohna di jehdi investment hai fossil fuels hai ohde bare and happy and healthy communities inna ne bar bar keya hai ki oh equally jehdi hage inna da platform ohde liye bahut zaruri hai and uh, in in your riding alone mr horgan announced the hospital and uh, we have a couple of 2 3 minutes left sonia uh why what do you think of his his announcement because he announced a hospital in surrey but i heard that is a land is not even government's name and uh, you know uh, uh, what do you think of announcing a uh, things and not you know keeping mm-hmm. the promise yeah, yeah. it's, it's such, such a good question, question. so, so glad, glad you asked me this because, because number, number one, one it's government's, government's job, job to make sure that every community has the schools the hospitals the indian infrastructure and services for every citizen and so when you have political campaigns where party leaders go into riding and say if you vote for us you'll be one of the winner rides but if you vote for the other party you might be one of the loser rides this is wrong in my riding uh since 1984 the community has been working on getting a new hospital The money has been set aside by the regional district. That hospital was announced in 2018. The business case was approved. That hospital is happening. It's happening because of the hard work of this community for decades. And then it's wrong for Mr. Jordan to go into a riot and say, if you don't vote me, you might lose your hospital. I, I, I think that trying to make people afraid uh, during an election is, is absolutely the wrong way to go. What we need is every leader to recognize uh, that, that our job as a government is to ensure that everybody equally has access to the services and the critical infrastructure that the government's job is to provide. And I call on the other leaders to focus on that vision. Where do they see the problems going? But don't do these kinds of promises where you're, you're picking winners and losers in your communities. So Sonia the kind of man on question which has been through a hospital announced Kita can they yeah that was on the platform there is already business plan there in 2018 so no the war announced Karna can they it doesn't make any sense and us they now now in a name Kya ki politically look he have the reason all or political decision but are a वो कहते एक नहीं सारी प्रोविंस जी है सिमिलर प्लेटफॉर्म होना चाहिए ना कि पीस मील फॉर फॉर द डिफरेंट राइडिंग्स लाइक फॉर फॉर एग्जांपल सोनिया लाइक पिकिंग अप ए डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर सरी एंड डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर वैनकूवर एंड डिफरेंट प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर आईलैंड ऑल दो वी आर ऑल ब्रिटिश कोलंबियंस सो इट्स इट्स आई आई डोंट नो हाउ मच सेंस पोलिटिकली इट मेक्स टू यू या आई सो एग्री विद यू because of course every community should have the expectation that they have what they need that the schools are healthy that there's doctors that there's health care that there's good infrastructure so we can get around that there's transit and in these election campaigns where we say you know there's there's different campaigning for different rights we have to we have to focus on the vision for every british columbian and for every community and and that's what i'm focused on in saying where do we want to get to as a province and how do we get there that's a good point sonia i um, my last question and then your final com- comments to our viewers uh, let's see is again happened to be a minority government mm-hmm. it happened last time mm-hmm. or you how you are going to decide are you going to favor ndp or liberal or uh, in that case what will be what will be your decision is a very difficult question but <laughs> yeah I, i've been asked this a lot and i think, and I think it's, it's really, really important, important that we we recognize that we we have lots, lots of options, options. There's, there's many many, many countries, countries around the world where minority, minority governments, governments are a regular thing, thing and they, they work, work out how to govern sometimes it can be uh, two parties working together, together sometimes it can be more for me what's really, really important, important is that we work out how we can work together most efficiently to deal with all of these crises that we're facing and what i've seen in the last three and a half years is that when all the parties agree 
that we are going to work together. We can make things happen very quickly. And it's the best decision we make that happens. And so I'm going to be focused after this election and, and whatever the voters decide, uh, I'm going to be focused on how do we best serve British Columbians. And that's going to be the question that I will be asking uh, in any kind of negotiations or, or work after this election. We need government that serves people first and foremost. And that is my top priority. So, Sonia, the Kerala Menon question put chassis gives you a fair minority government bangi, the two Sikinu favor Karago, NDP or Liberals. So, another Kanaki, a host time with the Patalaguga, key jury voters have another key decision and the Ode based a Hedri policy based decision Brononge. Can a minority government they favor Chia Kunki, who can they work very well around the world, Saridunia, the Vicho worker? And uh, Sonia, first of all, thank you for your time and your final comments to our viewers. I want to thank you for this uh, opportunity and I'm so delighted to have the chance to speak with your viewers and to share with them my vision. Uh, I really appreciate this and uh, I look forward to continuing to connect with you in the, in the days and weeks and months and years to come. Thank you, Sonia, and good luck to you. Your, your platform is very interesting and more we are here in, in coming days, as you said. Thank you very much and stay happy and healthy, like you believe in that, and uh, good luck to you. Thank you so much. So, today my girl was going on, Sonia Farstnona, who is a Green Party, BC de leader, and they had a lot of issues. They had a lot of platform, they had a lot of agenda, they had a lot of final goal. So, they had a lot of goals. So, they had a lot of goals. They had a lot of goals. जेडे जॉन हॉर्गन है उन्होंने इलेक्शन कॉल करने की लोड नहीं सी क्योंकि असी तिने पार्टियां राल मिलके बहुत सोना चला रहे सी सी बजट भी पास कर लिया सी पर फिर भी उन्होंने आप दे पोल्स दे विच नंबर हाई करके इलेक्शन कॉल की ताया पर वो कहने कि मैं 87 तो विच 74 कैंडिडेट्स ऑलरेडी साड़ी पार्टी दे बीसी ग्रीन पार्टी देना ने डिक्लेयर की थी जीना विच डॉक्टर्स इंजीनियर्स पीएचडी इकोनॉमिस्ट बहुत चंगे चंगे कैंडिडेट है गए हैं एंड शी इज वेरी एक्साइटेड ऑन अ प्लेटफॉर्म जिधर है क्लीन एनर्जी एनवायरनमेंट प्रोग्राम काफी और लेके है ऐसे ही तरह किसे न किसे पॉलिटिशियन आर थोड़ी बीसी इलेक्शन स्पेशल करके काफी अपनी गलाम बता पॉलिटिशियन आर चलना नहीं है ताकि थोड़ू दस्तगीय के डिफरेंट पार्टियां दा की की प्रोग्राम है तानवाद